Welcome. Today we are going to be replacing a Yovo nib. Now, we've already cleaned and disassembled our pen. Here is our Yovo nib that we're going to be disassembling. Now, Yovo was started in 1852. They started making dip nibs, and they eventually became the first German steel nib manufacturer. It was started by Joachim and Wolfgang. So, even though it's J-O-W-O, it's not Jowo, it's Yo uh, for Yakim, the Yo. And um, in German, the Wolf in Wolfgang is pronounced the Wolfgang, Wolfgang. So we've got Yo-Vo. Um, it's almost pronounced Y-O-V-O. -O. Anyway, that's the history. Let's get into this one. All right, so this usually has a screw component to it where you screw out, so you don't pull directly out, but rather you unscrew an inner unit. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Ready? Going to grip up here by the base. Here we go. There's our unit there. Now, once this unit's out, then you grip this part and pull this part directly out. You can even grip up top there to get extra leverage. All right, so here we have our old nib, which was a River City Broad, just a steel nib. And we are going to go ahead and replace that with a nib from fpnibs.com. This was a number six with a rose gold finish um, with extra high flow, and it was reground to an italic. There we go. And now because this one, it, these units have their pre-assembled um, unit here, I actually don't even need to take this apart or assemble it again because it's already assembled. Let's take a look at that tipping. So it's a 1.5, but then it's reground down to an italic. So it's very fine. And you see, yeah. You can, you can see how fine that was ground down. That'll be neat. All right, so this we're just going to put back in our housing here. So all we got to do, because this is threaded, so is this kind of cap here. We're just going to align them. I counter thread until I kind of feel it. There it is. I just felt it click. Here, I'll do it again. There it was. You could see it go down and feel it click. So I'm still going to hold it by the base up here. Go ahead and screw that in. Oh, I'm super excited. This is our body. Got our converters been sitting up here. Go ahead and put that in. All right, now all I have to do is clean this up, choose an ink to fill this with, and then we'll see how she does. Now I should mention if you were going to take it apart and reassemble it, if you look here, you can see the bottom part has like a cutaway, so it's flatter there. So you're gonna to need to align that cutaway with an insert that's in this sheathing cap here. And if you don't align those properly, you're going to be mashing things together and end up breaking something. So you have to make sure that these things are aligned. Obviously, you would have the nib on it properly when you're inserting it. But you do need to make sure the alignment is set between the housing and the actual nib before you insert. Now we're going to insert the converter. Give it a little bit to prime till you see that it's really kind of coming out. I can already see it starting to fill up the spines and such. There it goes. All right, now I'm going to retract a little bit so it's not too soaking. And give it a go. Okay, until I can clean up my area and actually get some paper, I'm just going to cap this for now. All right, so we've installed a Yovo nib from fpnibs.com. It's a 1.5 millimeter in italic. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So this is really interesting. This 1.5 millimeter with a really italic stub grind means it's got really nice thin strokes, but then when you widen it, it's very wide. So this lends itself very well to a large, broad calligraphy style.
thank you for joining me and learning how to change your Yovo nib. Thanks for watching Zen of the Pen. We hope to see you again with cool new insights and tips.